Hi, I'm Flowey, Flowey KOBK, and god, it's been a long time since I've recorded anything. <laughs> like, I don't remember the last time I actually recorded a video properly. It was probably about two or three months ago. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? I'm doing pretty fucking fantastic. I finally have a place to live that isn't constantly full of drama. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. But this video is gonna be more of me showing you something I made for Sean for PAX and for Rishu with PAX as well, and just kind of talking about some updates and stuff. This binder I made for Jack, um, I won last year. This was actually has a lot better quality than I thought it was gonna be Jesus. Um, this this one I made for Jack um, this year. It took me a month to make this one. Uh, inside Jack's binder we have a picture of positive mental attitude, which is like the new. Jacksepticeye phrase, it's been all over Tumblr and Twitter and everything. We also have this right here, which is the commentary between Sans and Papyrus. I literally made a commentary between the characters, which is really cute. Um, it's not even just Sans and Papyrus either, the Flowey's in there, Azriel and Toriel are in there, um, Asgore, Alphys, Undyne, um, a bunch of characters are in there. So I'm not going to read it because I don't want to spoil too much of it. But it's basically just describing what I'm about to show you in the character's own, like, dialogue, which is kind of cool. This is a title page. It's beautiful. It's, uh, got Jack Septic Guy's Ball Smart Book 2.0 featuring original artwork by Mal the Septic Actress, which is my new Tumblr name, by the way, if you didn't know. And aka Sam Septic Girl or Melissa Vintage. That's me. Hi. Um, in the back is a picture of May. This is the Mabel of Contents. Look at the maple contents written in pretty purple ink. It's very nice. This is Gaius. He's a chalk, black and white drawing. I wanted to more, put more detail into him, but I didn't really know how to, because it was kind of like, I don't know how to draw characters from stuff. Okay. <laughs> On the back is a picture of Rick and Morty um, going or coming out of the uh, portal, the portal gun thing that he makes. You know, that stuff, cool stuff, good stuff. On the next page is a picture of Cuphead. If you really enjoy playing, wow boss related kind of run games, it's really fun. The back is the reefer, or the reef backs from Subnautica. This is a reefer, reefy, and Jack's phrase is, hey reefy, so I thought it'd be fun to put in there. Please excuse the awful cringe you're about to see. It was funny and I had to include it, enjoy, or at least try to, which is this page right here. Um, it's literally, that's what it says. And I'm not gonna show you the next few pages because they're extremely cringy. So if I used to say it's literally the, uh, um, <laughs> It's literally that dialogue he said in that panel one time when someone's like, What's the weirdest fan experience you've ever had? Oh, my sweet summer child, let me tell you a tale. <laughs> oh, oh, it was 2016 when they arrived. <laughs> I was in my underwear. It was 9 a.m. A knock came on the door. Ding dong. That's not a knock. I opened the door to find uh, two Polish kids and their mother, and me in my underwear and a shirt. But it's okay. They had a giant wooden YouTube play button that they had made for me, and we're like, here you go. I was like, get off my property. <laughs> it's one of the best things I've ever seen them do on stage. It's hilarious. I drew a very cringy version of it because the story itself, it's a good, it's a funny story, but the actual thing behind it is pretty cringy that someone actually came to his house and was like, yeah, here's a play button I made you. It's really creepy. Um, and the next page is a little glitch pitch surprise, and then another one is another glitch pitch surprise, and then a few more anti-related stuff I'm not going to show you because spoilers. Um, then on the back of the anti-pages we have this lovely picture of Sean with green hair. It's one of my favorite pencil drawings I've ever done. Um, he looks pretty nice, I think. He did a very good job on this one. Um, and then we have some digital art, which I think I did a really well, good job on as well. Um, it took me a while to do these, but this is Jack in a little suit. Wait, sorry. In a suit when he went to the uh, um, RTE show, the Late Late, late, late Show over in Ireland, and he was to the interview and the little girl came on stage and was crying and it was so sweet and so if you haven't seen it go check it out it's probably on YouTube and I'm sure, pretty sure it's on the uh, Late Late Shows or RTE's website as well. Um, okay good, it's really moving. Oh on the back of that is a picture of Sean in a sweatshirt. 
with his chair and a board in the background, and I actually tried to draw the background of this picture, and I think I did okay. It could be better, but it could be worse too, so yeah, that's that. Um, boop, booper duper, I should say. Uh huh. Jokes. You got jokes. I got jokes. Um, next page is Techno Jack. Sorry again, I can't tell which way it is until I turn it. Techno Jack, he's wearing his little red suit. He looks blue because the lighting is blue. The black shadow in the background, I try to make it look really cool. In the back of that is the Glow Jack. I like to call him Glow Boy because I put the white background around him to make him look pretty. Sorry, there's a gleam on the freaking sleeve which is making it hard to see. There we go. Um, that one looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, then we've got... Sorry, wrong way. Booper duper. And after that we got Coffee Bean, which is right here, if I can get out of the book. <laughs> there it is. Coffee Bean. This is one of the first pictures I've ever done on the tablet. Um, it looked really well when I finished it, and I probably... This is probably one of my favorite drawings I've ever done on the tablet. It's really nice looking. I like it a lot. On the back of that is Sean with a little plant in the background and a table. I've been trying to draw backgrounds more lately. It's just not necessarily an easy thing to do sometimes, but here it is. Um, there we got Sean with some snow, holding his thumb up, smiling like a little Christmas boy he is. So sweet. And on the back of that is a terrible picture of Sean as Santa Claus. Granted, when I look at this picture now, I don't like it at all. It doesn't look nearly as good as I hoped it would. I don't know why it looks so weird. I think it's... I don't know. I can't tell. I think it's the smile that makes it look weird. But, uh, and the eyes maybe, maybe a bit too small, possibly. But that's just Santa Sean. Um, and then we have a picture of Cozy Boy, or Warm Sean. Um, hold on, let me get to that for you guys. This is Cozy Boy. He's in his little sweater in the snow, holding his thumb up. He's ready to go. On the back is like the other green hair picture of Sean with some texture in the background. This is actually the first picture I drew on my tablet. Um, it's okay, actually, for what it is. I think I did a pretty gosh darn good job with it, and I'm really proud of it, how it came out. So that, that's uh, that's Sean. Um, then we got Sean and Cena together. Lovely Wishu and Sean together. It's so cute. I love it. And on the back of that is the quote from What Is My Life. We're still gonna try. Oh, gonna carry on. Oh, you can break these bones of mine. I'm still a champion. Sean holding up his thumb in this picture. This is my favorite picture I've ever drawn. Period. Like, ever. Like, I love this picture. It, it is so well done. I looked at it and I was like, did I actually seriously just draw this? Holy shit, it looks so good. I love it. It's my favorite picture that I drew of him, so that is, that's it. Uh, this is a uh, high swap. I forgot her name already. I haven't seen it in too long. And I painted a little purple background with the mountains and the trees and the grass. It looks really nice and I really like it. I love how it came out. Then on the next page is my favorite painting that I've ever done, period, which is a palm tree sky and a little Sammy underneath. Um, I added the Sam later and I also added this sand later. Sam and sand. Huh? Sounds so close together. Um, the sky and the, the water look really well done. I was actually really super proud of this picture. And then my grandma was like, you know, you can add texture to the palm tree. And I was like, thanks, grandma! By the way, that noise is my cat. We don't, he, we didn't, he doesn't have a name. We just call him Satan. Satan, what are you doing? Hey! What are you doing? Or at least, when you say we, I say I. I mean I. Call him Satan. My roommate calls him cat, or he just says, you fucker. Because <laughs> this cat will bite everything and bite everyone and tear up the entire appointment. But that's not part of this vlog. We're talking about pictures. Oh yeah, Groby. Groby is on the back of that picture. I'm sorry, I forgot to show Groby out. Um, Groby is from Undertale. If you remember, he's the guy at the bar called Groby's. Um, and he's cleaning the table here. And he looks pretty dapper, I think, with his little glasses and vest and tie. Pretty dapper, dapper guy. Um, sorry, I'm like having a hard time focusing for some reason. Uh, the next page is Monica. It's just Monica. <laughs> um, it's just Monica, but she's got anti butches all over her face and her eyes are gone. So that's Monica, or at least an attempt at drawing Monica. I can't draw anime for 
different shit, so I tried. Um, the back is dapper sketch of Sean. Um, I don't like his eyes. In fact, his entire face arcs me right now in this picture. Like, I kind of want to, like, cover it. But, uh, I tried. I tried to draw him. And Sean. He looks like Harry Potter with spiky hair. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie in this picture. And a, and a beard. If Harry Potter had a beard and spiky hair, this would be him. <laughs> it's Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm totally kidding. Um, that's what it looks like, though, for real. Uh, this is Greg from Night in the Woods. Hello! <laughs> he wears the cups on his ears. Oh, I love that guy. He's so cute. I love little Greg. You're so too cute. You so are. He's so adorable. And on the back of that is quote from um, Sean's live stream where he would raise any money for the DBSA. He said, if nobody out there ever told you that they believe in you or that they're proud of you, sometimes all it needs is for somebody to say it, so I'm proud of you and I believe in you. And I love that quote so much. Um, and then one more thing I'm going to show you before the letter is the Spider Septic Man. Boop! Which is right here. Um, spider Septic Man. Again, I don't like the way I drew Sean's face in this picture. I was actually just debating putting this, the mask back on him and just keeping it the same there on the shoulder. I forget that my camera is inverted. There we go. And keeping that there. But um, I wasn't really sure how to do it. At the bottom it says, It's me, your favorite neighborhood spy or spider something man. I believe in you. So yeah, that's that. Um, the next page is a letter which I'm not going to read because it's more personal than anything else. And I don't really want anybody to hear it. Except for Sean. Um, oh, and then I got a picture of... Another dialogue between Papyrus and Sans closing the book, I guess. Um, pretty cool. And then the back flap, I have a picture of Sean with a little pattern shirt on. Which, his ear is too high. I realized that too late. I need to take, move it down a little bit, just a just, just hair. Um, and then I have a picture of the clown. This is Pennywise as Sean. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. I can't do an imitation of Pennywise, I can't. Um, anyway, so that's the entire book, except the back cover, which is, uh, this. If I can get my book to close, please. There you go. It's just literally a bunch of septic guys in circles. It's pretty cool. The design I did myself. So, yeah! That's the book. And we got this one. This is the Wee Shoes book. The Wee Shoes. The Whoosh. The, uh, Whoosher Doosher. The... <laughs> so many other words. Um, the cactus is terrible. Pretty much everything in this book is terrible. I don't know. You guys be the judge of that. Um, and she's an artist, so I really hope she doesn't take too harshly of these pictures. Uh, this is a digital art I did. Pretty much all the pictures in here are digital art, for like two of them. Um, can I get it to the camera so you can actually see it? The glare, the fucking glare from the freaking sleeve is annoying. But it, that's, that's the picture, essentially. Um, looks pretty cool. I drew the background, too. On um, the back of that, you have the whoosh with your little sweatshirt on, the bee on it. Um, again, the freaking lighting is annoying me. Um, that's a picture of Cena. And then we also have another picture of Cena when she's waving. I just drew that one like a week ago. And I put it in the book. There it is. Um, it's looking glare. There we go. And then I already showed you the picture of Sean and Cena. I put another copy in her book so she could have one too. Cause it's a really cute picture. I really like it a lot. Um, then I drew a terrible, terrible looking sunset, and I'll show it to you in a minute. I was trying to replicate the painting I did, but then I decided to put some more orange and red because she loves those kinds of colors. So, sunset at the palm tree and a little bird in the corner. I tried. I, I, I don't know. Um, and then in the back is just a flower, and yeah, it's shitty, but whatever. Again, I tried. I was trying to do something cute and nature-esque for the book, and I didn't really know what to do. I was thinking about pressing a flower. But then it would turn brown and die, and I don't think she really appreciates killing plants because she loves cacti and plants, so that would be really bad to do. So I figured I'm not going to do that. Um, the back of the book is her. Her little logo. Um, I drew the little orange sweater with the miseries all the rage on it. And we're going in with some stars, because I'm a second grader, apparently, and that's my creativity as far as design goes. Anyway. That's basically the books um, in their entirety. I know it's not exactly fun to watch, but uh, I just wanted to show them to you. It's been 20 minutes. Jesus Christ, I record for a long time.
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, sorry for the long ranting and talking. I do that sometimes. It's been a while since I just talked to a camera, and my roommate's not home right now, so I figured might as well, right? Um, see you guys later. Um, and as always, stay determined. Like a boss. Oh, he's my best friend. Bye.